What's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel, Easy Choice Reviews, where I do the tech reviews and unboxings to help give you an easy choice. Today we're doing part two of the Dell XPS 15 9570 upgrade. I've split this video into three videos to help make it easier for you to access the information that you want. The first video that I did, part one, is the actual physical upgrade of the hard drive, memory, and wireless card. The video two, which is this one, is the software install and cloning. And video three is the parts that I used and why. I will link a list below, as well as you might be able to find some links up here above to access those videos if you want. This is gonna be the software setup and hard drive cloning that is needed before we're able to do a hard drive swap. I will be installing Samsung Musician so that I can record the read and write speeds of the old hard drive before I swap it. That way I can compare it to the new hard drive. Then we will be installing Clonezilla so that we can clone the hard drive, the old one to the new, and have it ready to go so that we don't have to reinstall Windows, we don't have to reinstall drivers, and we don't have to set our system up again. It's already done. However, you will need a clean USB stick. It does not need to be a very large one. I don't know how small one you've got, but I'm pretty sure anything over probably 512 will get you through this install. The install is not very big, but you will need to have it be a clean USB drive so that you can make it a bootable drive with the Clonezilla software. I will leave a link in the description to Clonezilla as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect this up, show you how to download the software, get it installed, run through the steps of uh, what you need to just, just do a straight copy from this, this computer, just so that we can move the whole partitions and everything straight over and just kind of be done with it. Then we can take the hard drive that's in this and do a swap and we won't have to worry about installing drivers and reinstalling windows and that kind of stuff. So, so let's get to it.
Okay, now that we have all the software installed and the hard drive cloned, we can proceed with doing the physical upgrade from the first video. I'll have a link up here as well as down in the description. If you would like to know the parts that I'm using, I will also have another link here or down in the description for that video as well. I do want to thank you and I hope that this video was helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and click subscribe and the bell so you can get notification of my future videos. If you have any interest, you can follow us on social media. All of our links will be on our website at easychoicereviews.com. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.